Hi, my name is Eddie Torres. I'm also known as Love Kitchen Eddie. And uh, I started volunteering in the Love Kitchen in 1995. Uh, cleaning tables, mopping the floor, pulling the garbage, and anything that I'm asked to do, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, more than happy just to be serving and to no longer be doing the things that I had been doing before I came to uh, Manhattan Bible Church into the Love Kitchen. Um, I left uh, a life of uh, 34 years of drug abuse, of alcoholism. Um, 17 times I've been arrested in six different states. I've been in 14 rehabs and each and every time I got out of rehab I picked up the same day. And on this one Friday night in 1995 I, I found a paperback testament on a park bench. And for the first time I, read, I started to read the words of God. I had never owned the Bible, but I knew that this book um, people had treasured. Um, as a young man, I, I enjoyed reading uh, adventure stories, um, Huck Finn and Around the World and 80 Days and, and Gulliver's Travels. And, and for the first time as I started to read this testament, I, I read something that, that was truly a unique journey but it wasn't a fantasy or a fairy tale or something made up by man, but it was a story about a man, about a man who laid his life down though he was sinless for people like me, for people who were sinners, for people who were lawbreakers, um, for people who were just uh, troublesome to society. And uh, he has taken me to uh, a person who had eaten out of the garbage and I no longer need to eat out of the garbage because now I'm one of the Lord's treasures. Um, there were times uh, that uh, I, I just had become invisible to the world. People would pass me daily without speaking a word. And I remember rocking back and forth and just calling out my own name. And, uh, and as I started to serve here and I started to read scripture and and more involve myself in the lives of the men and women that are gathered here, to care more about them and less about what I'm going through and my sufferings. I knew that he would help me overcome my sufferings. And so as I embedded myself in their lives and in the love kitchen and in serving here, um, I, I just was truly rewarded in my heart and in my mind in ways that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't imagine that the Lord would just make such a transformation where I would never raise my hand nor would I ever swear against another man, where I would totally do what is asked of me, regardless of the hours and the time that it takes, that I would do what is asked of me. And I do this with pleasure. I'm a volunteer. It doesn't matter how many hours I labor here. It's not labor, it's love that I do. I serve with love because I care so much for those that are gathered around me. My prayer, my prayer is that one day that all of them would come one day and call out, call out to God. Let him know that you've repented from your sins. Ask him to become your savior. Tell him you want an eternal life, that you want to meet him in the future because I know I'm going to meet him in the future. And that's where my real reward will come is standing before God. There are two places in the Bible, one in the Psalms and one in Revelation, where God says that he himself, Jesus Christ, he has collected our tears and he's numbered them. In Revelations it says that he himself will greet us and he will wipe away our tears. How much more can you ask of another person? a man that would love you so much that he would wipe away your tears, that he would count your tears, and that he would collect your tears. I'm so thankful that I'm here. I continue to serve. And my prayer is that, Lord, you give me longevity, not for me to live for myself, but for me to continue to serve. My greatest prayer is that one day, all of the men and women gathered here will cry out, Abba, Father, won't you save me forever and ever? Amen.